hi everybody welcome back to today's video i'm going to show you step by step how to create this poster or social media post and then also add this realistic shadows to it and also the smoke and everything the motion everything i'm going to show you how to do it real quick let's step into photoshop let me show you how to do it all right so let's go there now because it's a social media post control n we need to make sure the dimensions are square shaped and to do that you're going to set up here to pixels 2000 there 2000 there 300 here you're going to call it maybe food p pizza post right and then we're going to click on create okay now now that we have everything set like this the alignment is really important i can't overemphasize that let's go to view let's go to new guys layout i'll set it to six six click on okay the alignment sorted out we are going to use two solid colors to achieve a very unified background the first one is going to be solid color we're going to use five four zero 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 all right so that is it now this is the background you're going to be using but also guys also guys let's go back to solid color again we want to get a color code you're going to be using for the vignette so you're going to be using 2b um zero 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 one all right and then i'm going to click here on the mask i'm going to pick my brush tool on the left i'll go up here i'm going to pick soft one brush here and then i'm going to make sure here's color black down here then i'll click on the mask again like i said i'll make sure my caps log is off and then i'm going to click on the middle here one two three four five good i'm also going to make sure i really work on the middle like as you can see this is what we have and to be honest with you this feels good i'm going to put it in a group i'll call it b G, because we're done with our background now also we now want to bring in our pizza i'm going to drag the pizza all the way in there and i'm going to release it like that it looks good it looks great it looks beautiful um i'm going to click on my text tool and i'm going to type here i'm going to pick the text over there i'm going to pick king and then let's paste it there good now let's work on king first and then we are going to work on the other rest of the text we are going to be using this font for the um, king text you're going to be using jungle uh, adventure regular good the font size you're going to be using for it is maybe 140 or 130 or something like that i like this so far i'm going to click on my move tool drag it somewhere here Control h Control t it has to be what middle aligned like i said it's really important that's why we created the alignment there uh, i'm also going to make sure this track in here is maybe perhaps like this we're not going to make any difference everything here is correct 100 here 100 here i'm going to click here and i'm going to set it to this color code f1 e b c7 okay now i just want it to be a little bit of white so this is good i'll i'll duplicate it for 2j click on my move tool here and then i'm going to move it down just a little bit i'm not going to give it too much spacing like this no don't give it too much space just a little bit little bit like that okay and then i'm going to pick this text then i'm going to pick it there good that's one that's good i'm going to select both of them i'm going to drag them down also all right now let's control t control h let's still make sure everything is middle aligned i feel like it's not middle aligned so let's, let's zoom in no middle middle aligned now let's click on this no middle aligned let's make sure it's middle aligned now let's select both of them control t definitely middle aligned now awesome put it in the group let's call it king p Za. But let's open it there's more we can do to this okay so i'm going to click on my text to i'll click somewhere here i'm going to type of off and then i'm going to drag it on top here i'm going to be using the font called uh montserrat okay i'm going to use the font called montserrat and also the font size i'm going to be using is maybe around 40 there about just something little okay something little and then i'm going to make it very bold so i'm going to use black for it okay and then uh, let's just see somewhere here i'm going to click on that rectangle too i'll draw a shape like that over there and then i'm going to double click it and i'm going to give it this color code 8 
D002. Good. Drag it underneath off. And then um, make sure off is in the middle. So I feel like off is in the middle now. You no, know, control and click over here. Click on off there. Click on your move to on the left side. Then um, let's see what we can do. Let's click here. Let's click there. Now it's in the middle. Good. So you're going to select these two control T, control H. You want to make sure it falls in the middle of it. Nice. You also want to make sure it goes there. And then you're going to just skew it a bit more. possible we can also go and give it some um, drop shadow a little bit guys remember we are going to just pick any of the colors there right uh, bring it up a little bit more a little bit more if you maybe even go to the orange side and pick an orange color there okay and then um, just set it to 61 here let's set it to 1 4 3 good and then 20 and then 40 here okay i still feel like choosing a dark color a little bit okay so that's it and then that is it so it looks good now let's put it in a group i think for the meantime this looks amazing okay now we can begin to add um, a few other details to make it look professional and then look good and then to do that is to bring in our smoke uh, do you know what that is? The smoke. I'm gonna bring in the smoke. Okay. I'm gonna drag it on top of it. Okay. And also, I'm gonna give it a mask. I'm gonna pick my brush. Set this color to color black, and then this. Make sure that side is clean nicely. I call it smoke. I'll call this pizza. Good. Now let's bring in our contact to. I'm going to drag this uh, contact in there and I'm going to release it here. Enter. Then I'll move it down there. Now, normally I don't like everything to be too far away from each other, so I'll, I'll leave it somewhere here. And also, this is what we can do we can select everything. Everything and then move it down okay yep good control h control t normally i want to have everything in the middle you can see this one has to be in the middle here good 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 so this is good let's call this one contact as well it in a group the last thing we are going to be doing or the last but one thing we are going to be doing is to add some veggies to it flying veggies if you put it i'm going to drag it in there and then i'm going to release it then i'm going to push it somewhere here okay i also like it to touch one two and then three touch the three of them at the same time yeah, add some realistic touch to it i'm going to push this one in there i'm going to release it here good you can see the way it's up there it's really nice then uh, i'm going to put this all the way in there i'm going to release it there enter then i'm going to push it somewhere here okay perhaps bring it closer to it we're going to put it all in a group and then we are going to call it um flying Veg. All right, so I think we are done with that. Now tying everything together, we need to use gradient map as usual. I'll go here and I'm going to set this side to seventy twenty three zero three. Good. Then I'll come to this side. I'm going to set it to F F B seven nine zero. Okay. Then I'm going to set it to soft light and guys just like that we have this beautiful design 
now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i love you guys see you in the next video peace out